Who likes frogs? So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my usual tarantula videos because I have other animals besides tarantulas and I'd like to showcase them as well. So, so I figured this video would be all about my frogs and my toad. Um, I currently have two frogs, one toad. So I thought I would show you them and talk a little bit about them. So check it out. This is George. George is an African clawed frog and he actually he lives in a um, tank in our bathroom. <laughs> so he's been here for we've been here for 16 years so he's been here for 16 years and he's actually when I got him he was very tiny. Um, I got him from a uh, aquarium um, store and he was very little and he that was probably 22 23 years ago at least so he's actually he's at least 22 23 years old at this point so i have had george for a very long time um i've had george i kind of got out of the reptile hobby for a little bit because i got busy with other things and i kind of um, got out of the reptile hobby for a little bit and then recently got back into it about four years ago or so so um, I've never totally been out of the hobby because I've always had George in between so George kind of is my link to my um, my reptile hobby in the past and my getting back into the reptile hobby and now with um, invertebrates tarantulas and um, George is my link between the my two periods of of having um, reptiles I've always had reptiles pretty much so this is George um, he had a mate, a female, she, her name was Wheezy, George and Wheezy from, if you, if, um, I'm dating myself, but, um, if you remember the Jeffersons, that's, they're named after, I, that was during a period where I was naming a lot of my pets after, um, 70s TV shows, and so George and Wheezy are, are my, my clawed frogs, and Wheezy passed away about three years ago. And she was the same age. I got them together. So she lived quite a long time too. She lived almost, she lived about 20 years. And, and George is still going and he still likes to sing. He used to sing for Wheezy and now he sings for me. And it's, it's so cute. And he's very sweet. And I will give him some. He likes the floating food sticks. Sometimes he'll get worms um, on occasion and stuff. And I'm thinking about getting him some feeder guppies too. His tank needs, needs another um, cleaning right now. He gets it pretty dirty pretty quickly, so. Um, but he's been doing pretty well. It, it might look a little icky right now, but he's perfectly healthy, so. I'll give him a good cleaning and he'll be fine. I'll give him some food, see if he wants to eat it. There he goes, he knows. He lets me know when he's hungry and knows when I'm feeding him. He's a very handsome guy, he's very smart. So that is George, my African clawed frog. I love him very much. This is my pixie frog. My daughter named him Morris. I call him Frogzilla. He's about two years old. And um, he get when I got him, he was a little, about little tiny thing. I won't put my hand in front of him because he'll grab anything that moves in front of him. But I'm going to give him some. I gave him a pinky mouse earlier and he ate that pretty quickly. So. He's ready for some super worms, I think. So I'm gonna give him some super worms. Here you go, bud. He loves his super worms. I'm gonna put my finger in front of there. These frogs are really cool. He'll, he's actually gonna get bigger. And he is, you can see my hand compared to his size. When I got him, he was little. Um, he's much bigger. He'll get bigger than this even. He can get the size of a dinner plate. And um, they are native to Africa. And um, the cool, unique thing about them is the males will actually 
guard and care for the the eggs and the young tadpoles. Um, and they'll actually guard the the puddles or, or little ponds where the tadpoles are. And um, once they're bigger, they'll actually dig a trench so that the tadpoles can leave the puddle that they're in, if they're in a puddle or a, or a, a trench or something like that. And then they'll um, give them access to a larger body of water, which I think is pretty interesting. That they're actually really good dads. And they definitely are eating machines. But Mr. Morris likes to eat, don't you, buddy? He's a good boy. I love this guy. I always love frogs, but this guy is just amazing. He's just an awesome, awesome frog. One thing you definitely don't want to do, though, is get your hand in front of their mouth. They have these two um, protrusions from their bottom jaw, almost like teeth. And they use them to protect their babies, defend themselves, and that kind of thing. And they will use them to defend themselves or when they're eating. You know, so if you get bit by one of these guys, it's not going to feel good. It's going to hurt. Because they are very sharp teeth that they have in their jaws. If it moves in front of them, it's going in their mouth. As you can see. But I thought I would showcase. I don't know if you can see his teeth. Let me see if I can get him to show his teeth when he's eating. Get a close up of that so you can really see what's going on in that, in that mouth. But yeah, he's got fangs. Sort of. I don't know if you can see. When he opens his mouth. There you go. You can see that. Where are you going, buddy? Going the wrong way. Come on. Let's go this way. Good boy. Good boy. Everybody, your nice smile. You being camera shy? Say hi to everybody, Morris. Frogzilla. You can see why I call him Frogzilla. He actually looks like Godzilla's head. He's got this, even the same color and markings as Godzilla. He looks like Godzilla's head. Yes, you're a very handsome guy. Good boy. This is Bane. He is my cane toad, also known as a marine toad. And I've had him for a couple years now. I got him at an expo. Um, he doesn't usually like to eat right, he doesn't usually like to eat right in front of me. I usually I'll put, I have, give him some, wet down his substrate a bit here. And then, um, he doesn't like to eat in front of me, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll use one of these, um, these containers here, which has little plastic sides to keep the um, superworms from crawling out, and I'll put that in there. And he'll, it's usually empty or mostly empty by the morning, so he's going in there and, and giving himself some, some supper when everyone's in sleep. Um, but he is a cane toad. He was almost this size when I got him. He's a little bit, a little bit smaller, and he. Um, is native to South America. In South Florida and Australia, they've become a huge pest, and they've done a lot of damage to the native ecosystem and the native animals there. So these guys, as cool as they are, they're not extremely welcome in certain areas, but um, he is safely in captivity in He's not destroying anything, so he's a good guy. These guys are also a bit on the um, 
dangerous side in the wild and invasive, especially in areas where they're invasive, because they have these poison glands. You can see this big area right here. Um, those are poison glands, and if they're being attacked by something, they will secrete a, a toxin out of their skin, which is powerful enough to kill a dog. So definitely not the greatest thing if someone's pet dog decides they want to play with this toad that they find in the yard, and um, it won't end well for the dog. So they are actually very poisonous as well. So yeah, but they are a cool pet. So if you keep a cane toad, make sure it stays a pet in captivity forever so that it doesn't do any harm to anyone else. Because they make really good pets. Yeah. So that's Bane. Hi, say hi to everybody. The cuteness is just too much. Hi, little guy. You are a cute little guy. Yay. Like a mature male Phidibus audax. A bold jumping spider, I believe. He is adorable. And he's going to now live in my car. Found him on the windshield, so I wanted to bring him inside so he wouldn't blow off me at hurt. Are you looking for a girlfriend? I think I'm going to put you outside so you can find yourself a girlfriend because I don't think there's any girls in here. That would be nice. I don't know. But you are adorable. Let's see. It get you in the light. How can you not like jumping spiders? Even though I was terrified of spiders, I still love these guys. They're so cute. 